hello guys today in this video we will find the output of few line of codes so it uh, it is asked generally in the interview questions in C sharp so here this is my first question so you can see here okay this question and let me start the timer for 10 seconds okay and then after 10 seconds we will check uh, whether you are able to solve the problem or not so you can uh, write it down at your own side in your page so as you can see the time is now out so let me copy this so that we can check whether this program is working correct or not okay so here I am in the visual studio and let me paste it here so you can see here okay so what should be the output okay so let me just move to line of code from here okay so what should be the output here okay so you can see still we are getting error that means the constructor of the class cannot have its return type okay so we need to remove it that means it was having the compile time error right this is the answer of this first output finding question okay now let's move to the second question so this is output finding two means question number two and here you can see this is the line of code and you are having the 10 seconds to get the answer okay now the time starts now okay so I write it down the answer at your end and then you can match whether you got the answer correct or not okay so now let me copy this and go to Visual Studio okay so now this class is not needed so let me remove this okay and here I will put my code okay so now our code is ready and now we will run it so you can see here the output is system.byte and second one is system.int okay so yeah this is the answer for the second output finding question okay so now we will move to the third one so here you can see this is the question it is having s byte okay so you can check the question and let me start the timer here okay so your time starts now and write down your answer okay and match the same answer okay and check whether you are correct or not so now let me copy this or we can just copy this portion okay and go to the VS code so we just studio and put it here and let me run this so you can see here it is getting giving us the compile time error and the error is that you can see this is saying that cannot implicitly convert the type int to s byte okay so it need to convert okay or we need to cast it for that so yeah so this is the compile time error so now let's move to the fourth question so here is the question and you can see here and please find out or write down your answer and match it okay so you are having the 10 seconds let me copy this and paste it here okay and let me run this and what should be the output of this line of code so you can match with this so you can see here we have got an error here right and it is saying that index out of range exception that means the array is having zero element okay and we want to get the value of zeroth position that means it cannot be possible right because there is no element or 
this array is having with the zero number of elements okay so at the zero position there will not be anything right that's why we got the index was outside of the bound of the array exception error okay so this was the so, uh, like answer for this question and now let me move to the fifth question and here again let me copy this okay slow so let me just first run the run it okay so now the time it starts and i hope you would have found the answer till now so let me just copy it and paste it here oh, okay just okay and now i will run this code as well so the question is what should be the output right so you can see here the output is 6 and 12 okay so now we will move to the sixth question right and the sixth question is here this is the question and you can write down your output okay so just, just let me run the timer again and you have you are having 10 seconds now to calculate and now your times up so now let me copy this and paste it here okay and now i will run this so you can see the answer right here it is the answer and answer is 31 49 and 1 3 okay now let's move to the next question which is this one the question is so now let me again start the timing so now you are having only 10 seconds to calculate the answer so now let's move to this visual studio and paste, let me paste the code here and let me run this so you can see here the answer is that means it has removed the underscore right it has removed the underscore from the first one which is like we can say it is a local integer right it is integer type and this is also the int type but when we are going to print it then it converted right it into the integer or we can say the decimal right so this is the answers of this question okay and now let's move to the next question and which is question number eight so let me run the timer again and calculate the question and you are having 10 seconds okay so now time out so let me copy it and paste it here and now let me run the application okay so now you can see the answer is the first one uh, right line will be 254 okay and the second right line will be 255 and the third will be zero and again it will be one so why it is so okay so now let me move to the next question and here you can see it is the keyword is changed in this question so again i will give you a 10 second to calculate
now the answer will be let's check what will be the answer okay now let me run the program so now you can see we have received an error here okay and it is saying that it is about to overflow the arithmetic operation so we got the two output 254 and 255 but after that it didn't uh, go back to zero right so yeah this is the answer for this that means we are getting here the runtime error okay and now what will we what we will do here now we will move to the next question and this is our last question here okay so now you are having again 10 seconds to find out the output of this question okay so now it's time to check the code whether it is correct or not so let me go here oh, and paste it here and now let me run this so what will be the output on the first three console and also the last three console so you can see here okay the first output will be 1.234 again the second output will be same third output will be also the same but the data type here are different you can see here the first one is single second one is double and the third one will be the decimal okay so this is all guys in this video i hope you liked it and you have learned something new with this video okay so that's all guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you